Hello, my name is Don Tiffernay, and welcome to the 10 Room Bizarro YouTube page where I talk about films that I believe need to be talked about more. Like tonight's film. This is 1979's The Dead Mountaineers Hotel, which is the English translation of that title. <laughs> um, Hotel Zoom Verglaken. Oh, Alpenstein. I don't want to do it, folks. Um, but this is the cover of this extremely rare and unique film the dead mountaineers hotel i was i was able to to purchase this from diabolic dvd as an official uh, region b release from the dvd and blu-ray media book and i was absolutely fascinated by this i didn't know what it was i didn't know what i'd be getting myself into but i knew one thing when i did a little bit of research on it it was a winter film I wanted to get another winter film. I wanted a snowy, cold film. There's something weird about the comfort of the winter for me. Um, I have some health issues that get exacerbated in the winter, but I also have health issues that get exacerbated in the summer. And ultimately, the cold has always been my favorite. And there's there's something something about it, but. For the past couple winters, I've really been saturating a lot in winter films. And I was looking for a, a, a winter movie. And I was looking at new releases of Diabolic DVD, and this came up, and I was very intrigued, and I could find hardly nothing on the film. You think about films like The Shining, Ghost Keeper, there's lots of isolated obviously misery and you know these isolated winter films even newer ones like black coat's daughter and there's there's a, there are many <laughs> and uh this film is an isolation a real isolation total snow in the middle of no civilization i mean you are out in the mountains and it is blizzard like conditions and you take that and you mix it with a fascinating hotel structure if you just look at the physicality of this hotel if you took everybody out of the hotel, if you took the movie out of the hotel and just had the hotel, there's a reason why that's the title of this movie. It almost reminds me of modern art. It reminds me of something futuristic. It reminds me of Andy Warhol. It's like a futuristic, bizarre, surrealistic hotel winter spaceship. So what do you have here? You have a murder mystery, old dark house, science fiction, and the surreal and horror <laughs> whoa <laughs> this is a unique experience to say the least folks it's one of the reasons a movie like this the one of the reasons why i have this youtube channel the soundtrack is fascinating it's fascinating it's fascinating because if you look it up on YouTube, you'll hear one of the songs in the film. And it'll be so fascinating, it'll be hard for you to wrap your head around it. Why it's associated with what I just said. The characters in the hotel are mysterious. And almost don't fit into sexual categories or personality categories. They're confusing. 
Why are they there? They're so weird. Why do they occupy the rooms that they occupy? What's their backstory? Are they lying to you? There's a dog that always sits in the same spot in the lobby. A friendly dog. And there's a piece of art that the dog sits under. And this piece of art, in a pitch black way, is the dead mountaineer. This is his hotel. And that's his picture. And it's like the dog knows it. The dog does know it. As the movie pulsates and moves, it's all atmosphere. It's all mood. And it's very weird. As the movie keeps going, as you get near the end, your mind melts more and more as you realize that this is a lot bigger than you thought. It's a lot darker than you thought. It's a lot weirder than you thought, right? This 1979 film, this should be seen by a lot of people <laughs> who are into unique cinema. You know, I have a real big soft spot for um, old dark house films, specifically <laughs> uh, James Whale's Old Dark House. I love it. I love that movie so much. I, I watch it every Halloween season. And um, I love gothic movies. I love Ken Russell's gothic. That video I, I, I looked at on this YouTube page, you can check it out. There's something about the mansion at night. The reading of a will. A group of people together over the span of one night. Even looking at a film like Rob Zombie's House of a Thousand Corpses, in a more modern, visceral sense. In the Dead Mountaineers Hotel, and there's something about winter horror films in general that always have that. There's something about the winter. There's a mystery and a magic about the cold that the summer doesn't have. The isolation, you're indoors, the fireplace, the hot drinks, the alcohol to warm someone's blood. This is 1979's Dead Mountaineers Hotel. I'm still wrapping my head around the artwork for the poster. Still figuring it out. Thank you so much for watching the Ten Room Bizarro YouTube page where I talk about films that I believe need to be talked about more. Like 1979's Dead Mountaineers Hotel. Have a great night. Oops, I'll try it again.